Hey guys, check it out. I gotta make this quick because Bla- Baby Boy wants to go for a walk. Okay, hang on. I pause you. I'm gonna mount you on my pan of ice. Hang on. I pause you. It's a contest. Which antenna will be noisier? The end fed, which is an 80 meter end fed, connected to my multi tap on on. Uh, tap number five. Um, it's SWR is nil if I were to transmit into it at this point. Okay, versus an inverted V dipole with an apex at about 26, 27 feet. Okay, listen to how noisy the dipole is compared to the end pad on the signal. With the dipole, you can't even copy the uh, uh, the weaker of the two stations. Okay. Hang on. Check it out. Watch him be gone, because my camera's running. This is a dipole. Let me give you the finger again. And fed. Turn the volume up a little. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Have you ever uh, thought and about fed. Uh, combining the two of us? Dipole. Uh, getting like a uh, stack match and, uh, and like, um, uh, combining the... Noisy. Table, about S9. He was about S9. I think he's working at DX station. If I were to turn on my dynamic noise reduction, I could copy him. Local time is 8.55 p.m. Yeah, yeah, Roger. Okay, on the inverted V, he's about uh, hitting almost 5 dB over 9. On the end fed. <laughs> Even a little, about the same. We'll call it the same. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go on to each of these. But no noise. Uh, antennas separately, and uh, can you let me know how I sound there? Okay, make your pass, uh, Michael. Okay, here is the top antenna, the top antenna at the 70 meters, just one four element antenna. Stand by. All right, here's the uh, lower, the lower four element at uh, 45 meters, 45 meters up. And here's the four square, the four square uh, towards uh, the northeast. Uh, uh, which one was that, water over? Oh, it's not, it's not the metal resistor on the rock that passed, uh, Michael. On the rock that passed, I see, I see, uh, That's the best I could set this Yesu FTDX3000 up to copy that DX, <clears throat> excuse me, station. Um, using the NPED and turning the dynam- DNR function on. Let's go back to the inverted V dipole, okay, and turn off the DNR. <laughs> Let's see if we can hear the DX station at all. Oh, you can hear them. Amongst the noise from the, um, I think that was probably the wash cycle of Cindy's washing machine next door. Or maybe that of Ahmed, the weatherman, kitty corner from me, or Jim, the man behind me, or the family to the other side. 
I'm getting to where I can ID the family by <clears throat> the, the noise signature of their washing machine. <laughs> I bullshit you not, I can't. You can't copy them on the dipole. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just a little... We'll see if the DX is still in there. The band's changing because it's dark out now. Oh, nice copy. Nice copy. I have the DNR um, settings set to default. Um, it's a little much for my liking. <clears throat> I could probably turn the effect down a little bit. And um, the, with the Yesu rig, the way you, you can easily go straight to that menu setting is by the select button that I'd normally press to turn that function on and off like that. I press and hold it, and it'll take you right to the menu for that setting. Um, right? A little comparison <clears throat> between a 40 meter inverted V dipole in the pines, apex about 26 feet, versus an 80 meter end fed, my blunder wire. <laughs> um, yeah, um, the viewer that coined the term blunder wire, that's genius. <laughs> It blows over only so smart and witty. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching and listening. 73 from Chuck Blows Owen Blitzy. Bye now.